second brand makeup tutorial. Yay! This was not requested or anything like that. I just saw somebody else do it and thought that's a bloody good idea, you know? So I thought what I'd do is I'd go to Boots and I'd go to the cheapest makeup section. That happened to be Natural Collection. I bought everything I would need for a full face that they have anyway and it all cost me under £25. My goddamn nose is running. I thought this would be really quite fantastic for you guys who need makeup on a budget or you don't have money or it's the first time for you trying makeup in general so you don't want to splurge out too much because you don't really know if you want to continue wearing it or whatever. This is the look I've created guys. I hope you enjoyed the video and without further ado we'll get started shall we? Let's go! Okay, so I've already moisturised my face, okay, with my regular moisturiser. First thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go in with the Shine Away foundation that they have. And I got it in the shade Biscuit. I'm just going to put some on my Beauty Blender. And I'm going to dab it all on my face. And I hopefully, I'm not going to put on too much. Because I don't know what this foundation is like just yet. We're going to start with a little and work it up to a lot of. Thanky danky. This foundation feels more like a tinted moisturiser to be honest with you. <laughs> I'm just putting that much on for now guys. It hasn't actually done that much coverage but we will build up that coverage as we go along so don't worry about it. Now I'm going in with the Natural Collection Concealer in shade Medium. Also £2. Guys I'm not gonna lie right, when it comes to some makeup a lot of it is overpriced for no reason, okay? But when it comes to other makeup, you know, like really, really cheap makeup, you really do um, get what you pay for. And for Natural Collection, if I was going to give a little review, the quality is not great. Honestly, it's not great. And for me, I would much rather spend a little bit more. What's this spot? It doesn't have to be fully high end but a little bit more on things like maybe L'Oreal or Bourjois, stuff like that and just get a little bit more quality but I'm just showing you guys this brand to show you how workable it is if you literally are skint but you want new makeup so we're gonna go ahead and blend and with this concealer, I tried it the other day and normally with my concealer I wait a little bit before I blend but I found that with this one if you do that it literally changes colour, so I decided to blend straight away because I just wasn't feeling that whole change colour business. I'm going to go in with a second layer of the foundation <laughs> and blend it just where my concealer stops, pretty much. Now I am going to go in with the Natural Collection Loose Powder and it's a translucent one, so We're not doing no baking or nothing. Actually, we might actually have to do a bit of baking for this brand because it needs that kind of extra. I'm just gonna put it all over my face first and then I'm gonna bake under my eyes. Might just do a little bit over here too. We're just gonna leave that on our face while I do my eyebrows maybe. Just gonna brush them upwards a little bit. As you can see, I'm trying to grow my brows. What I did actually is I bought this um, duo eyeshadow set. It's in Mocha Latte. It's a dark brown side and like a creamy side. So I'm gonna use the dark brown side for my brows, okay? And I'm not gonna think too much about my brows. I'm just gonna fill them in quite lightly. A really good tip for eyebrows when you're using a product that maybe isn't that pigmented like this for example because it's on the cheaper side is just to dampen your angled brush a little bit and then dab it in the product and it will be a lot darker and defining on the eyebrows if that makes sense. Okay I think that will do for now. On to the next brow. <laughs> This eyeshadow duo little palette, they actually have a lot of colours in and a lot of choice, so you can obviously match the shadows to your particular eyebrow colour and stuff. 
Okay, I think we're good with the browns. Just going to get some of the dark brown and use it as an eyeshadow just here in the crease of my eyes, like that, like this, like that. Very lightly, guys. I'm also going to bring it underneath my eye. You know, when you look in the mirror and you apply your makeup, there's like funny angles you do and stuff, but when you're filming, you have to do it like this, and it's very difficult. That's why in tutorials, my makeup is never on point. But sometimes in other videos and pictures, it is. Okay, now I'm going to take my little finger and I'm going to use the cream one to pat that all over my lids. Let's put some under our brows as well. My powder underneath my eyes has been there long enough, so I'm just brushing that off. Now what we're going to do is we're going to go in with the Natural Collection Liquid Liner. It's very, very fine. Like, incredibly fine. So I'm literally going to start on the edge. And then draw upwards. Like so. Look how fine that line is. Okay, then I'm going to look down. And I'm going to join the end to my lid, okay? Now guys, I am going in with an eyelash curler. Eyelash curlers never really make a difference with me, but I just do them in case one day they change their mind. Now we're going in with the Natural Collection Mascara. Honestly, it's not bad. It's not bad for a cheap mascara. I'm just going to coat my lashes very, very lightly because we are going to be wearing falsies. They're not natural collection falsies, but they are cheap, so. Okay, while my mascara is drying, I'm going to go in with the natural collection sun tint bronzing powder. Mm -hmm. Oh my god, last night me and Sid were on YouTube and we were watching, you know, videos and stuff. God, I forgot. Rice something, right? And basically what he does is roasting videos and it's the funniest thing on this planet. Um, and then Ryan Higger created a challenge where you have to roast yourself, basically. So all the big YouTubers are doing it. And they're really, really funny. So me and Sid thought, you know what? Let's roast each other on Sid and Dina. So watch out for that very soon. I just need to write my uh, lyrics. Mm -hmm. I find that when I highlight the tip of my nose, like every other beauty blogger, it just elongates it like crazy and I don't want to make my nose longer because it's long enough it is. What we're doing is we're going in with Natural Collection White Eyeliner and I think these are great. They really are. Just lining my waterline with them. When you apply your white liner, you have to make sure that everything else is fully dried, otherwise if your eyes water and it leaks through, you end up with grey liner and I hate that. Look how bright their white liner is. That's probably my favourite product from what they have actually so far. Now, I actually bought this cream blusher in the colour Apricot and I haven't tried it yet so I'm just going to give it a go. We'll see how it works because the thing is I've already put powder on so it might be an absolute fail but let's just give it a go anyway. Dab, 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 dibbidi, dab, dab. I like that a lot. I do actually, yes. As usual, guys. Natural Collection doesn't have a lash line, but I have some reasonably priced lashes. And these are Ardell Wispies. Let's just go ahead and glue up them lashes right now. The band on them is super, super thin as well, guys. So it makes it a lot easier for application processes, okay? It always says on eyelash packages to wait 20 to 30 seconds for it to dry. Trust me, that's not long enough, man. Honestly, you need to wait like a minute. 20 seconds is a bullshit. Breathe the hot breath on it so it dries quicker. <sighs> guys, you guys haven't seen Choji in a long time. He just came in whining. He wants attention because Hannah and Sid are asleep, so. Say hi, Choji. Last time I did this, he was a kitten. No, say hello. No, no. Say, look, hi, Choji.
My lashes are applied. What I'm gonna do now is go back in with the eyeliner and just touch it up from where the glue's been applied and stuff like that. And then we're almost done. Now what we're gonna do is gonna go in with lips and I'm gonna take this uh, Natural Collection Lip Liner in Espresso that I haven't sharpened, so you really should do that. But you know me, YOLO. Now, when you get to this point, it's up to you what you wanna do. You wanna overline your lips, you overline your lips. You don't wanna do it, you don't do it. But whatever you do, don't ever underline your lips. Bet you any money, underlying lips is going to become like a trend soon. Literally everything's a trend now, it's just so funny. Go ahead and get a natural collection lip gloss, and this one is called Caramel Shortcake. And I'm going to mix it with this lip liner and see how it turns out. I have no idea if this is going to work or not, but let's give it a go, hey? It's going to be nice, I can tell. It will be nice, yeah. I love mixing pink with a brown base, I love that. Guys, I really want to start doing really like fun, creative makeup looks, like just for fun, like obviously not to go out in. Lovely jubbly. Those are my lips done. One final thing guys and that is this eyeshadow and it's called Bali. We're basically going to use this as our highlighter with this little brush that I have. Dabby 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 and I'm just going to go way yo. Just run with it guys. Run with it. Oh yes we must highlight the inner corners of our eyes. So I'm going to do that with my little finger with the white side oh that actually works really good this concludes my little one brand makeup tutorial on a budget all the products that i've used today combined are under 25 pounds bargain bruv so that's it guys that's the full look i hope you like it woo woo i like it a lot it's totally wearable for every day uni college work whatever the hell it is this is totally wearable if you guys are just starting out experimenting with makeup as well let me know if you guys would like to see more one brand makeup tutorials i would love to do them i like doing them but i need you guys to tell me to do them otherwise there's no point right maybe you want me to do a more high-end brand whatever it is make sure you leave it in the comments i'll do it for you i'm totally doing requests from now on it's so much fun okay so yes without further ado Thanks for watching guys and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!